Okay, we're going to be demonstrating the model MDB100 vending machine controller. Let's go through the harnesses real quick. First and foremost, we have the main power supply, which is a 110 volt power supply, switching power supply. Drops it down to 24 volts DC, which supplies and runs the vent controller. We have our disable circuits. We have the two purple wires meant for a tank empty float. Two orange wires meant for a um, UV dry contact to monitor a UV light. We have the MDB harness that uh, does all the communicating. This one goes out to a credit display and then to the coin mechanism and bill validator. Have our product selection buttons. In this case, I'm wired up for two products. We're going to call this one gallon and five gallon today. White wires for the one gallon gray wires for the five gallon. We have the 110 volt uh, supply voltage for the output from the relay. Uh, typically supplies 110 volts to a vent pump or solenoid valve. On the uh, controller we have a four line vacuum fluorescent credit display. It's giving me a ready status right now. I have no money in escrow and I have a dollar seventy five on my cash meter. Programming is quite simple. It's done through these four, excuse me, five uh, push buttons. We have enter, left, right, up, and down. So let's go ahead and uh, walk you through the programming. So if I press the enter button, now it takes me into the three menus I have for my three outputs, Vend A, Vend B, and Vend C. Press enter again to uh, enter the Vend A, see the asterisk tells me where I'm at. A sub menu for flow, time, and price. So flow and time, if I enter that, now I have a five digit number there. Any number setting above 500 will be considered vend pulses from a flow sensor, which would be connected right here. Uh, I'm going to run this controller today based on time. So anything below 500 pulses will be seconds. So right now this controller is set for 10 or 10 seconds. Um, I can simply change that by going up or down if I want 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, I'm going to do 5 seconds. So I'm going to take this down to 0. I'm going to move to the right and I'm going to go up to 5. So now I'm going to Vend A is going to dispense for 5 seconds. I'm happy with that. I press enter. I'm going to move down to my price setting, check to see what my value for that Vend A is going to be. Currently set for 25 or 25 cents. I can move up or down in 5 cent increments. I like that. I'm going to stay at 25 cents. Press enter. Going down to back. Press enter. I'm going to go down. Let's check Vend B. Enter. Enter. So now I'm, uh, I'm 11 seconds. Um, let's change that. Let's go. Let's go. Now let's go. Let's move right. Ten seconds. Enter. Down to price. Enter 70, 75 cents. Sure, 75 cents sounds good. Enter. Down to back. Press enter. I'm going to skip Ven C since I don't have anything connected. Go down to save and exit, and it's going to go through a soft reboot. Coin Mac and Bill Validator are recharging. Uh, controller is detecting the devices. And uh, everything's happy. So now let's go ahead and uh, let's drop a coin. So now I have 25 cents in my escrow, $1.75 on my cash meter. I'm going to grab my uh, one gallon button. That's it. Now I'm vending for five seconds. My cash meter increased to two dollars and escrow went down to zero. Let's try it with a dollar bill. Okay, there's my dollar bill. Now I have one dollar in escrow. Vend A, B, and C are all satisfied by that one dollar inserted. Let's go ahead and press my five gallon button, which was 75 cents, so we should go to quarter change. And there's my quarter. Cash went up to 275 from two dollars. 
vended for was it 10 seconds or something like that and there you go there is the um, um, basic operation if you have any questions or comments please reach out to me my name is Sean company is 25 cent h2o my phone number is 520-975-7888 thank you very much